assignment time. Okay. This assignment, keep in mind, everything you learned in the previous chapter now plays into this assignment. So none of that stuff disappeared. If it did, you have the videos. You can always go back and say, okay, I need to know how to make a base mesh out of Z-spheres. Well, here's how you do that. Or here's how you use subtools. In this lesson, you know, you might not be even using subtools. You could probably get away with using just Z-spheres as your base mesh. So, in this lesson, we're going to create a found idol. Okay? So, a found idol. That's the theme of it. A found idol. Before, it was abstract. Um, and I would say the abstract, it was very smooth. In this case, you know, it might contain some kind of texture, like I've been showing you. It uh, will have some kind of baked in quality like it's been I want the texture to be able to transverse into other programs so in this case you know this is stone um, and let's see that's a good one oh, here's a whole bunch of these little guys so here's a whole bunch of idols got ones with big heads ones with small bodies but they're very simple in their construct and that's what I want to get across is you know don't overthink this assignment don't try to get too technical on it it was made to bridge you into using textures and using layers it's not about getting perfect absolute perfect sculpts yet here the Easter Island guys, you know, that would be cool. But here's the rules. I want to be able to hit Go Z, even though you might not have Maya, okay? I still want it to be able to have it so it transverses other programs. I do not want you to become illustrators. You can become illustrators any day of the week after I show you all the tools. You know, they can go in here and they can say, well, you know, I'm going to... I'm just going to go ignore everything about texturing and everything else. I don't need that stuff. And then they can worry about it in post-production via Photoshop or whatever. But I want to train you guys to be uh, the harder of the sect, which is worrying about making it look good in other programs at low levels and high levels of polygon structures. So that's what I want. I want the ability to see your idol. Okay. Um, it must have a texture applied to it. The texture must contain some kind of depth to it. So if I go into render and I say flat, it should look to me something like this. So that way I know that it's going to transverse into some other program. And I did that with masking. So texture on must work. That being said, how do I make this so it saves as? And all that answer is I just simply save it. I save this as poly sphere or whatever. And then when I initialize ZBrush, and load it, Look what carries along with it. It's normal map, it's displacement map, and it's texture map. So please generate all three. I showed you how to do it, and that way, that way when I load up your object, I could hit go Z in mine and make sure it looks good. Okay? So that's what I want. I want a found idol made in ZBrush. And then we're, we'll stack them all next to each other and find out who's got the coolest looking idol. <laughs> Get it? America's top idol? Yeah. <laughs> Worst show ever. So, anyway, that's it. Enjoy the assignment. And when you're done, turn in your ZTL file. That's what I want. Okay? Until next chapter.